Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. With Christmas coming up, I know that a lot of you guys want to do and use a font very similar to this where you have all the extra little um, swishes and whatever else, right? Like with the N with it coming down, um, the B with the extra swirl up here, all of these extra swirls. I, this is what, first of all, this is one of my favorite fonts. It's Hanaberry Coo from Creative Fabrica. Um, if you want to try it out, uh, you should use my link because then you get the first month for just a dollar for you to try out whether or not you like their membership. I personally have their membership because um, all their files and fonts come with commercial license so that you can use it on your projects and, you know, go ahead, go turn around and sell it. Um, and it's just a massive amount of beautiful fonts that I don't see on Design Space. Anyway um link is in the description as well as uh, i don't know everywhere that i have <laughs> okay let me show you what's like some of the beautiful things about this font the other thing that i like about this font is that while it looks whimsical and delicate it is not um it cuts really well with htv so it's just one of my favorites i mean you probably recognize it because i use it on every one of my projects pretty much um so we're actually i mean you can see all the fun little swishes all the alternates um i'll show you a few more so you can really see all of this like look at all the j's that you can do right all the h's so i have this font in design space so let's go back to that first page so i can show you what hannaberry coo would look like right and then let's go into design space and actually try to recreate the whole thing. So once you download a font onto your computer, then it will automatically be um, uploaded into design space. You just have to close it out. So if you have design space currently open while you're downloading that font, you actually need to close out design space and go back in it. Once you go back in it, it's there. It's um, in your font selection. So I'm going to go and click on the pick list, right? And I'm gonna type in Hanaberry Koo. And there it is. So it's with a capital H, A-N-I-B-E-R-R-K-U. <laughs> Sorry, all right, this is, this is your option in design space, right? I'm gonna make it big. And we're gonna go back to the other one. So first of all, it doesn't have the N. The B is not like that. This Y is not like that. That K is not like that. And definitely the U is not like that, right? Um, so let's go back over here. Now, in order to do it, this is what how I would do it. We're gonna go, you need to Google for main type. So watch, T um, so type in main type font manager. This is a free download, okay? So I use main type for Windows. And you're gonna go to download and you want main type, okay? This is what it's gonna look like when you actually have it. So let me bring it up. So once you download it, then you're just gonna open it from your computer. And let me bring it over because it's on my other, my other monitor. So give me a second. I'm gonna close this. Okay, here it is. So um, this comes up. I use the free edition. Just close this. So these are all the fonts, right? Um, I'm gonna scroll down and go find Hanaberry Cool. And there it is. And here are all the extras that we were looking for. Like here's the K right away, right? I think that's the K. Let's go back and see. Um, we're gonna recreate this um, the way it looks here. So it has the one, two, so is that the one? Oh, it is the one. So there is my K, right? That's the K that I want. So it's selected right now. I'm gonna hit Control C, okay? Then I'm gonna go over into Design Space and click on Text. You need to make sure when you click on the text box, that this font right now is the same font that you want to drop in okay so now i've confirmed it's hanaberry coo i'm in my text box i'm going to hit Control v for paste right and there's my k oops so all you need to do is 
the best way to do this, and I, sh I shouldn't, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna redo this. Hold on, the best way to do this, I'm gonna start over. I should not have done it that way. I'm gonna go to text. I'm gonna type in Hannah Berry Koo again. Don't change the size of your font because then each letter that we drop in is gonna already be the correct size. I'm gonna go here and do this instead. So I'm not messing with my font size. I'm just making it more legible. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to text and here's my text box. I'm still in Hannah Berry Koo. I'm gonna now control V again. But see, now my K is the right size. So all I need to do is I'm going to go and ungroup this. I am gonna substitute out the ones that I want. So I'm recreating this font, right? The way we see it. So here's that. Okay, what's the next one? Let's go back to here. The end, the end with like the extra little line. So let's go over here. Let's look for our ends. Um, here are some ends, but that's not it. I want, oh, I think I see it. I think I want this one, right? Okay, so you see how there's so many to choose from, right? So this one's selected, highlighted. I'm gonna hit Control C, go back to Design Space, open up a text box, and hit Control V. So I'm dropping it in. There's my beautiful N. I'm gonna substitute out this N. So delete that one, move, slide this one in. Okay, so we've got, oops, wrong one. The N, we need the B with like the little pretty thing and then the Y and the U. Okay, so let's go back to here. Let's look for our, I already forgot all the ones I've been looking for. I'm looking for oh, the U, right? So this is not the U. It had a heart. Um, I may have passed it already. So let's see. Okay, so I might have passed it. Let's go all the way to the bottom. All right. Oh, what letter is that? Oh, here it is. Is this my U? I think this is the U. All right, so Control C, then go to Design Space, Text Box, confirm the same font, Control V, and here's my U with the heart. So you can see this is, I mean, it changes how it looks and you have so many options. It took me a long time to realize how to add all these pieces together. <laughs> all right, we need the B, I think, and oh, dang it, I already forgot. All right, let's go look at our Bs. Um, was it this one? I don't know, let me go see. No, it has like the little loop. Is that the right one? No, that one's not fancy enough. Let's go see if we can find another B. Oh, here it is. It's this one. Okay, so control C, go to design space, text box, control V. And there's my beautiful B. I'm gonna substitute out this one. Drop in that. And then I think, is that exactly how it looks? Oh, we need the Y. Um, all right, let's go to here. Let's look at the Y. So the Y has, I think it's this one. Let's go back. I've already forgotten. Okay, looks like a little E at the end, right? So Control C, go back to design space, text box. Control V. We're gonna substitute this and bring in this. Whoa, I don't think this is the one. Hold on, let's go back. How 
did that one? That one's smaller. <laughs> there was another smaller one. Here's the smaller one, I think. Let's see if it's this one. Control C. Text box. There are actually three Ys that looked very similar to each other. Oh yeah, this one's much smaller. Look at that. <laughs> did you know that you needed one so big? I had no idea. Okay, here we go. There. I think the only thing left is the two R's. If you go back and look at this one, you see how this R is bigger? So I think there is something, did we already, did we change the Q, K, Q. Um, let's go see if we can find that. So it's two R's next to each other. So here is the small, oh, it's this one. Okay, you see? So let's control C. Text, control V. So this one is actually three letters. It's the E, the R, and the R. So we're getting rid of E. Oops. Oh, why does that look so big? I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so it fits in here. A little bit bigger, there. A little bit bigger. I want it all to connect. All right, so if you can believe it, we made something look exactly like what we saw, which I used to have a really hard time. Now, so this is what it looks like, right? Just to confirm. This is what it looks like. We can make this a little bit smaller, bring it out. Where's my, just to make sure, just to make sure. All right, so where's my other little one? Uh... Oh jeez, come on. Right? I think that looks exactly like it. Oh, you know what? The B is not the right B. Look it. This one goes out further and further both ways. I'm sure it's there, right? But the point is, we were very close. <laughs> now, the last thing that you want to do is you want to grab this whole thing and you want to weld it together. Now, let me uh, duplicate this so I can show you the difference between welding and not welding these letters. Um, did it duplicate? I must be thinking, okay. I'm gonna move this one down here, okay? So this one, I'm going to weld. When you weld it, what happens is each the letters blend in and become one piece. Oh, I made too many copies. I'm gonna delete that one. Okay. Um, if I move myself over a little bit. Okay. So this one, we're gonna, oh, so we haven't welded it yet because each one is its own individual piece. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the whole thing and I'm gonna weld it. So what happens is the, the H blends into the A, blends into the N, etc. Now, you might not see it here, but I'm gonna change the color so we can really see it. When you see it more clearly when it's a lighter color, okay? And I'm gonna show you, like, I'm gonna arrange send to the front, because when you cut it, they're all to the front, if that makes sense, like when you're, if you're looking at it from an arrangement. So what will happen is this H will cut, you see this little piece right here? It's gonna cut into the A, you're gonna see that piece, you're gonna see that outline. Um, I'm gonna move this N to the back, arrange send to the back. And that N is gonna have that A totally cut into the N, right? Um, same thing with this, this B, arrange send to the back. That B is gonna have the I right there. It's also actually going to have this behind it as well, send to the back. 
So this B is gonna have this I cut out. It's gonna cut out into the E. It's actually gonna look really bad because the E is then gonna cut down right here. So you're gonna have all those pieces are gonna show. That's why you wanna weld it. So uh, as opposed to this one, let me now change this one to purple. It's all blended together. It's as if I dropped water in here or paint, it will flow through each one of the letters. I mean, obviously the end's not connected to the I, so that's different, but um, the I, B, E, R, R, Y is all gonna be one piece. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I wish I knew this for the first, uh, I don't know, two years that I was using my Cricut. I know, so bad. Um, but I love main type. I love Creative Fabrica. I love using them in conjunction with each other. You get all these beautiful things. This is a little bit crazy, even for me, but the fact is that we can actually replicate it if that's what we wanted to do. <laughs> all right, comments, questions, let me know. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.